This is the Bush Whisperer coming at you from the beautiful Penguin Sanctuary, Boulder's Beach, southern tip of Africa, Cape Town. Speaking your truth. The shaman understands that speaking the truth is fundamental to finding equilibrium. The self-expression is only able to really work for you. I did a video on that. When you're able to speak your truth and able to really express what's in your heart. For it is when we express what is in our heart that the heart opens to the world and is able to see what is in the world as it's reflected through the heart, in the world, from the heart. For the whole world is the heart exposed. Think about that for a moment. And the reality is that we very often don't really say what we think. And it's so important to be yourself, to be authentic. This authenticity of being is the essence of what it means to be alive, awakened, enlightened. Call it whatever you want. But the basis of life is based on authenticity, on really just being what you are meant to be. Be what you're feeling. Express what you're thinking. Don't try and be something you're not. It's so easy for people on the spiritual path to get stuck on the ideas of what they're meant to be, how they're meant to behave, what they're meant to say. And we forget that fate and destiny have its own way with us. And we will be what we will be. So it's so fundamental to be it consciously and with awareness. Sometimes when we are feeling an impulse, and I'll give you an example. This morning my son was misbehaving on the beach. Just before I come here with him, I take him on the beach for the sunrise. And he was kicking sand on me and he was trying to get behind me to play pranks on me and I asked him to stop. And he carried on. He was being really, really like rambunctious. And so I said to him, if you're not going to stop, then I'm going to take action. And then he started getting stroppy. So my impulse was to just take him home and put him at home. So I did it. <laughs> I'm going to go and fetch him just now. But I wanted him to understand that daddy can be hard and cruel if I need to. Because now he's not here with me in the penguin sanctuary and he's feeling and I can feel him on the other side of this telepathic bond. He's sad. But in order for me to be true to him, I need to be true to myself. And in order for him to learn to be true, he needs to observe it. And so we become examples to each other. And when you are yourself, even if it seems like you're being cruel, you're being hard, or you're saying things that people don't want to hear, you might be talking to a friend and you might feel the need to give them advice that you know they don't want to hear. It's so important that you do that, even if it's going to hurt them. It's about the intention behind where it's coming from that matters to you personally. If you can give it in such a way that you're giving it from your heart and you're giving it from this place of your truth, then it's going to be what it's meant to be. And it's going to create the catharsis it's meant to create. It's going to bring the healing that's necessary in order for harmony, balance and life to thrive. There's that beautiful penguin song. I love that penguin song. The donkey song, I call it. So it's so important, just like these little penguins, to sing your own song. Whether other people like the song or not doesn't matter. Sing your song, it's your song. This is your life, to sing your song of life. To be what you're meant to be. Express what you're meant to express. We don't have to be nice. We don't have to be sweet. We don't have to be anything that we're not feeling in our hearts to be. And sometimes in your heart you may be feeling to, to be angry with someone. Then you need to be aware of that. The, the point is not to do it in such a way that it's abusive. The point is to be able to express your thoughts coherently and be able to say to them, I'm feeling a lot of anger towards you now. And what I want to say to you are angry things. Think about how you express it. Express it with love and compassion. It will probably be for the greater good, even though it's not always obvious. And life isn't always obvious. Life can be very obscure at times. Sometimes we hide the truth from ourselves. And the more you don't speak your own truth to others, the more you will hide the truth from yourself. This is a deep revelation that the shaman understands fundamentally. If you want the truth to be revealed 
to yourself, through yourself, from yourself, then you need to be able to share of yourself with other selves, with an authentic, integrous, true and genuine impulse that comes from deep within yourself. And when the energy is able to flow through you in such a manner, like a river, this river of life brings through it the consciousness of healing and love. And this is the fundamental basis of shamanic healing, is being yourself with total authenticity. The shamanic trance is in order to put you in tune with the absolute deepest aspects of yourself, the guides, which are living beings living through us. We live through them, probably a better way to put it. And the guidance then comes from the higher aspects of the consciousness field of this reality. In order to manifest the most positive and healthy parts of ourselves, so that we can bring to others a sense of health, balance and harmony. This is the key to life. And so it is all the great masters have always taught us, in very fundamental terms, to be yourself, and to be true to thine own self. It's one of the maxims of all the occult schools, esoteric traditions, spiritual traditions on this planet. And we forget that being true to oneself doesn't involve being holy, being divine. I used to make this mistake a lot, that I thought I had to always be doing some greater good than what I am. It took me a long time to realize that sometimes you're meant to just be what you are, whatever that is and just ride the, ride the current of what that is. It doesn't mean that you can be dishonest. If you feel an impulse to be dishonest, realize that's not coming from you. Because the true self doesn't want dishonesty. If the impulse seems like that, you've got to understand it's a habit coming from the outside that's being entrained towards you by other beings. For the nature of the self is authentic. The nature of the self, the self is absolute harmony of being that expresses what we really are. It's dancing your own dance through this life, as a shaman would explain. Finding your own song around the fire. Finding the rhythm that guides your heart so that your heart can guide you to the deeper aspects of you so that you can learn to be more true. So, remember this next time you're feeling the need to bend the truth a little or to hold back a truth that might be inconvenient uncomfortable or painful for someone to bear. If you're feeling the truth and you're feeling the impulse to share it, you ought to share it. It would always be for the fundamental truth, for the fundamental best for all people present. Sometimes we shield each other from truths that are painful. And when we start shielding each other from truths that are painful, we end up sh shielding ourselves from painful truths. And this way we become jaded. And if you wish not to become jaded, then be as authentic as you can be. Your most authentic self, your most genuine expression, your most truthful words, and your most real face that you can wear for the world is what you should wear. If you're feeling sad, be sad. Don't wear a happy smile because you don't want others to see you sad. If you're sad, be sad. If you're feeling disappointed, be disappointed. Don't be like, well, I can't be disappointed. It's not spiritual enough for me to be this. And if you're sad, be sad with a smile. It's okay to smile through sadness. Try and smile through all the qualities that you will experience, and they will take the edge off of them. We're told we shouldn't be afraid. It's nonsense. If the fear is in you, be afraid. But be afraid with bravery. Be brave to face the fear. Channel that fear and face that fear with bravery, with a smile. And that fear will dissolve will realize it was a delusion and that that delusion was based on some previous lie that you told yourself which was based on probably some kind of a small white lie or some lack of expression of truth that you didn't share with someone else when you were supposed to for as we give unto each other we will give to ourselves this is a fundamental axiom fundamental truth being expressed there so remember to share yourself completely don't hold back any part of yourself don't hold back any part of your truth don't hold back any part of your love. Share with absolute integrity and you will become what it is you share, the truth. This is the Bush Whisperer sharing a few words from the heart, honestly, with you from the Penguin Sanctuary. I hope you have an absolutely gorgeous day. Take it easy. Enjoy your life, your day, your week and your month. Aum Shanti 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 Shanti.